What's going on everybody? Um, today we'll be doing a video on a push mower carb clean. Um, it's a mower we have found by the side of the road. It was for free so we picked it up. Um, it's in good condition. We just need a carb clean. So we'll be um, doing a step-by-step -step walkthrough of that today. Hope you all enjoy. Well here you have the mower that we'll be working on today. It's a Honda Black Max push mower. Um, we found it by the side of the road. Um, it's gonna it's gonna need some work. Currently, just trying to get it running with the carburetor. It should have a self-propelled mechanism, but that's currently broken, and the um, mower blades are butchered. They are, um, they, there, there's there's nothing left of the blades currently, so have to get some new blades for that. But currently, try to get it running. Um, I believe it's the carburetor. Uh, I believe it had some bad fuel or whatnot in it, so we're going to get to it and work on the carb. Okay, so I currently have the camera set up near the carburetor. So what I'll first do to access the carburetor is have to take out the air filter by popping out these two tabs up top, which comes off. This air filter is dirty, but I think it's fine for right now. Normally... The bolts on here should be 10 millimeter. Let's check. Yep. 10 millimeter socket. I don't know if that's visible, but on this one, there's a 10 millimeter socket that I can use to get this off. I would suggest while doing this to take photos of everything while you're doing it because when you start taking it all apart, it's very hard to remember where everything goes. Um, I done a few carburetors in the past and I still have to take photos of it occasionally so it all the carburetor all carburetors vary for different mowers but so it, it does help to take photos of it all I'm also gonna start by shutting off the gas usually there's a switch on it here if there's not a switch it's lost some of the older mowers get a locking wrench and just clamp it onto the gas lines, shutting off the gas, like so. That I don't have to do on this mower currently because it has this switch. So I'm gonna take my 10 millimeter socket wrench. I'm gonna start backing out the bolts. Again, Take notes of where everything's at on the mower when you take this off and take photos if you can so you don't lose track of where everything is. On the back side of this plastic shroud here for the air filter, there's going to be, okay, so it's coming off here. So I'm going to go and pull these two bolts out here. Oh, that already fell out. Okay. So there's this carburetor. So on this plastic shroud, there's going to be a vacuum hose on the back of this just pops right out. Be sure to lay everything out on the table and whatnot to make sure you don't lose any pieces. So this was originally right here. So when you take that off you have the seal and everything on it. Excuse me. It's on the back side right here. So all this comes together. So like right now I'd be I, uh, you should probably take a photo of all of that if you're doing it with yourself at home. Make sure everything is good there. So I want to take this off. Keep track of these small springs. Okay, so I'll have to disconnect this line here too. Here are the pliers. So 
says always disconnect it. So again, just try to keep track of all your seals and everything. Set this to the side. So what I'm going to do is I'll take this into onto the bench and we'll clean it all up. So on these you have to take the bowl off. If there's any little bit of dirt inside the carburetor, it can cause it to not function. The um, passageways for the fuel are very small. So occasionally what happens also is the bowl gets filled up with a bunch of crud and everything just bad gas or whatnot and it'll clog up the holes also so we'll take that into the um, into the workshop and put it on the bench and clean it all out so okay now we're in the um, shop with the carburetor um, there's two things you probably need uh, two more things you probably need other than your 10 millimeter socket wrench you probably need some carburetor cleaner and for cleaning out the carburetor what I have is just a small needle so I'm taking this off I take normally I don't know the normal sizes for this but a 10 millimeter socket wrench fits this just like you fit the the previous bolts so just in that there now gas is gonna fall out of this bowl when you do this so have another rag on hand. I currently have laid a rag down on the work table, so it also helps just seeing all the pieces. Again, when you take this apart, lay everything out and keep track of it so you don't lose any pieces. Yeah, inside that bottom of the bowl there, it's a bunch of crud, a lot of dirt down there. Anything in the bowl will get a carburetor all clogged up so that's the starting off just take the bowl off so here you see in the carburetor this is the float so normally the carburetor is sitting like this in the bowl with the with the bowl on the bottom so when the gas comes in it raises and lowers this float allowing gas to enter in the carburetor sometimes if this float gets stuck it won't it won't allow the the mower to run so that could be a problem but I assume it's just clogged up with dirt so I'm going to take this apart got some pliers here so off the bat you can tell that someone has already taken this apart this is not the uh, not a normal pin that's found in here normally it's just a straight metal pin that slides in and out, but it looks like someone has been a piece of metal in there to hold that in. So that could be the reason for it. I'm doing that. I have to grab some pliers here. Mm -hmm. track of that because we don't have a pin currently so that's not good so I probably didn't put that piece of metal back in but. so as you take this off and pull it out on the underside of this is a small pin so see that right there it's pinned right there so when that float goes up and down this goes up and down with the float uh, stopping the amount of gas, stopping the gas from entering the carb. So keep track of that. So you have it inside of it. All those holes, there's holes in there, down there. All that, if that gets clogged up by anything, it'll, it, it will, the, the more will just will ultimately not run. It just won't. So I have to go through and clean out all these. I'm going to take the air compressor here. And the carb cleaner and spray in there. 
I'm gonna take this away from the camera for one second so I can blow it out. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take my needle and prod around in the holes of the carburetor and try to make sure everything is clear here. And I'm talking, these things are tiny holes so you need probably a smaller needle than this. This needle barely does the job, so I would recommend a smaller one, but for this one, it works fine. Okay. And be sure to have a good grasp on the needle because if you drop it in one of these holes, I mean, if it's small, you could have a hard time getting it out. So, stick it in there, kind of. So, I think there's some gunk in there. I'll take it away from the camera spray one more time here. Okay, blow it out. A lot of these holes, if you take your air compressor, I just have a small head on it right now. If you can take your air compressor and put it in some of these holes, um, if you don't feel air coming out the other ones, it um, will normally imply that it has a clog. It's clogged. But, um, normally I like cleaning up the operator also while I'm at it. So I'm going to clean out this bowl now and get out all the crud out of it. Part of me thinks that um, this mower has some bad gas in it, had some bad gas in it, so I'll probably end up draining the, the gas tank here soon when we put this back on, so, so no more crud gets down in this bowl. Yeah, look at how dirty that was inside, all that dirt. Normally, whenever you pick up a mower by the side of the road, it's going to require some work to get this thing back fixed because it's beside the road for a reason. So, good project, though. So. Okay, so I cleaned it out a little bit better. There's still some corrosion in there. But, um, it's definitely better than it was. Okay, so I'm going to take this, start putting it all back together again, start off with the float, I need to put the pin in there, put that on the underside of it, just slides in like so. And make sure it's seated in there correctly because if the if the pin comes loose from it of the float it's it's worthless it'll just clog it all up again so make sure this pin there and normally i would recommend buying another pin i currently don't have one but i don't think that's um it's definitely not factory looks like a Close pin or something. Get that wire back. Okay. 
Okay, so that works fine. So I'm going to put the bowl back on. I'd also clean off this bolt pretty well. Now, in snugging this back on, I would not tighten down too hard on it. Last thing you need to do is strip it out. Just enough. Just make it snug. So. Okay, I'm going to take this, put it back on the push mower, and see if it'll crank right up for us. Okay, so we're back at the mower here with the carburetor. So, I've already drained the fuel, the fuel tank. I've already drained that, and so it's clear of any debris. So I'm going to start putting all these back together. Right now I would reference your photos if you're doing this at home. Reference your photos of where everything went. There's been a few mowers I've done this to and I get back to the mower and I've lost track of where I, where everything went and it's just like a train wreck. So put the fuel line back on there. Make sure the seals are good. All that is lined up. Set that down there. So I'm gonna put the plastic shroud back over it, connect that to the line. Make sure that's on there good. So this is kind of the tricky part. I'm gonna move the camera over here real fast. I don't know if you're able to see all this. But the tricky part is holding all this together and trying to get it up where it's supposed to be. So, normally what I like doing is putting one pin in one of the bolts and just trying to get everything on that bolt. So, do that right now. That tends to help. I have one bolt in, I'm gonna try to get the other one on here. Normally what I like doing for these bolts is I back thread them in when I'm doing this until I feel a click or a pop to make sure the threads are aligned. I would suggest doing that so you're not stripping anything out.
tighten it back up with the 10 millimeter. Again, I wouldn't tighten these down super hard, just snugly. Okay. Put the air filter back on. I'll probably end up getting another air filter for this more, but for now, cut the old one back in. This is kind of a project more on the list right now. So put that back in. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off the table and uh, put some fresh gas in it and see what happens here. Okay, so I have it off the table now. I'm gonna turn back on the fuel. This more has an auto choke, so I don't have to prime it or anything. So. Okay, so there you have it, the uh, carb clean for the Honda Black Max. First, first pull crank. No, sorry, second pull crank. Cranked right up, and um, I have a functioning mower now. So, okay. Well, thanks for watching. Um, we'll probably end up putting out more um, repair videos on our equipment and whatnot. Uh, this is just one of the push mowers we have that we've had to carb clean again for a free mower by side of the road. Just a simple fix of a carb clean, and you have a working functioning mower. So. Hope you all enjoyed. If you like the video, hit that like button and subscribe so you see more future content. Um, hopefully we'll be putting out more repair videos. Um, we'll be posting hopefully once every week. Hope you enjoyed. Have a blessed day.